Hi, I'm Lachie Logan. Welcome to my Aquatic Studio here in Los Angeles. And today we are going to talk about footwork on the reformer. So depending on the reformer that you have, you have four or five spring options. Um, on my reformer, I only have four, and they're all the same weight. Um, so you can choose the weight you want based on your body type and what your strength level is and what you're going for. You can also do one or no springs, and that would really change how this is going to feel. I'm going to do one four springs. You are welcome to do one four heavy springs or three heavy springs. So if it's um, like reds and blues and yellows, you know, pick the heaviest ones and then go lighter as you need. Um, if you know your uh, brand of equipment, you can put it in the comments below and I can tell you kind of which spring setting choice might work the best for you. So we have four springs on and you'll lie down on your reformer. Start with your heels together, toes apart. Now here's the most important thing. You want the pinky toe on that foot bar. So see how mine are hanging off? It's not good. We've got to put them on there. And then your feet are not too far externally rotated. They're just what's called a Pilates V, which is a normal anatomical external rotation. And you're going to press out and you'll bend in. And what you want to make sure you do is close your carriage all the way. So my springs probably have another inch to go. I'm still working on that. But you also want to keep the whole ball of the foot pushing in. So when you go out and in, just notice if you tend to roll out to the pinky side of your foot or if you tend to like grip with your toes or point too much with your toes. You also want your heels to stay in one spot so they don't get to drop down and up, right? They stay right where they are. After 10 of those, I want you to lift both feet up at the same time. So pull your stomach in and land on your arches. Squeeze your legs together and then you will do 10 on your arches, right? And then you would pick up both feet, land on your heels and press out and in. And when your legs get to straight, you can kind of see what your feet are doing. Sometimes one foot turns in a little bit more. You want to push with the entire heel. That includes the inner heel and the outer heel. And you'll feel your outer hips and your inner thighs working. And that's going to make this less of a quad exercise and more of a seat exercise. Then after that, you'll pick up both feet, land back on your toes, push out, stay up here. You'll lower your heels and lift your heels. It's not a calf stretch. You have to reach your heels under and lift your stomach up. Your outer hips are working to lift your heels. So you should feel a lot of outer hip connection here to your center because this position, flex and point, is something we do a lot of in every single Pilates exercise. Your feet are either pointed or flex, and it should connect you to your seat. So after 10 of those, you come all the way in. You should be pretty ready to take your foot bar down, do your 100, and move on with your former order. I hope that helps you get really nice and warmed up, working the feet, challenging your center, connecting to your seat, so you can continue to do more of your former workout and be ready for every exercise that's to come. I'm Lester Logan. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe below for more videos like this. And if you would like a workout with me, go to onlinepoliceclasses.com and check out our reformer classes. Thank you so much.